I think I'll summarize the last three. This is another square root problem, but you have to subtract 12 and then divide by negative 2 first. Leave that one up to you. Here we're dividing by 15. Square root of x is equal to 2. Now sometimes people will look at this and they'll think there's some sort of plus or minus going on. No, when you're squaring x equals 4, that's the solution. But we had to square it. By the way, that's a factoring problem. Factorable if you move the negative x squared over to the other side. And this one, finally, if you square both sides, you'll make your life easier. I'll just say that. Enjoy. Enjoy.